Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Madis here. So today I'm gonna show two ways to increase the speed and torque of EV controllers. Now let's start with the first power mod. For that you have to locate this shunt resistors which will be located near the negative battery supply. Basically every time you use the controller, current flow through this shunt resistors before entering the actual circuit. Now they are very low value resistor and due to this resistive property a small voltage drop occurs across the shunt resistor and using this trace the voltage drop get measured by the microcontroller and then it can decide how much current is flowing in the circuit and when to stop drawing the current. Now here we have another set of shunt from another controller and I'm going to connect it in parallel with the actual shunt. Now these shunts are made out of 5 or 6 10 amp shunt connected in parallel and if you can't find a stack like this one you can order some 10 amp shunts from online and connect them in parallel to make a stack like this one. Or alternatively, you can use a thick piece of wire like 0 or 1 AWG wire in place of the shunt. That will work too, but the system can get a bit unstable, so I don't recommend that. One side of the shunt is connected to the copper bus bar near it. And another side is connected to the negative supply of the battery. I'm going to connect the shunt in the bus bar and the negative supply directly. After connecting more shunts or a piece of wire in parallel with the original shunt, the resistance of the shunt get decreased and less resistance means less voltage drop across the shunt and the microcontroller get checked and it will flow more and more current than the previous limit. And as we know, voltage into current is equal to wattage. So with increased current, we get more wattage means more power output in the motor. Now just like this, our our first mod is complete and let's focus into the second mod which will increase the power and the throttle response a bit more. Now for easy explanation I'm choosing another controller with a small heatsink and after explaining I will get back to the original controller. So here we have the throttles connector. It's a positive 5 volt, the ground and this green wire is the hall sensor's output. We have to follow this green wire. Here we have the green wire inside the controller and let's follow the trace. And the wire is connected to this resistance and let's test the continuity. And it should be a 10k resistance. And yes, it is a 10k resistance and we have to replace it with a lower value like 1k or 2k. In this controller, here we have the green hall sensors output wire. And it's a 10k resistance I have already removed from here. And just like the previous controller, this green wire should connect it with one side of the resistance. And another side is directly connected with the microcontroller. I'm going to replace this 10k resistance with this 1k resistance. So just like this our second mod is also complete. You can try these mods to increase the power but be careful the motor can get damaged due to overcurrent and this video ends here. If you like the video do subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thanks for watching guys.